This is the Porsche Cayman 718 GTS. And listen to that. That is the sound of a naturally aspirated four litre flat six. A six cylinder in a Cayman. That's just music to my ears. Ah, and it revs all the way up to 7,800 RPM. That's the sound of 400 horsepower, 420 newton meters of torque. It's basically the engine from a Cayman GT4. It feels strong, it feels smooth, it just feels special. That engine makes a big change from the standard 718 Caymans because since 2016, entry-level cars have used four-cylinder turbos. On paper, they made a lot of sense. They delivered plenty of power and torque and were hypothetically more efficient than the six-cylinder engines they replaced. But what they gained in technical excellence, they lacked in soul. The GTS is all about putting the soul back into the Cayman. So as well as that lovely engine, you also get a delicious six-speed manual gearbox. The pedals are perfectly spaced for healing and towing, but they can actually blip the gas for you and make sure that every time you change, it's buttery smooth. I spend so much time driving automatic gearboxes that sometimes I forget how good an excellent manual gearbox can be. And this is one of the best, it really is. You feel like such an integral part of the machine. And on top of that, you get these amazing bucket seats, this Alcantara steering wheel. It might only be a 64 grand GTS, but from where I'm sitting, it feels like a 74,000 pound GT4. But even though it feels like a GT4, it doesn't look like one. There's not an awful lot on this car to inform people that it's ditched the four-cylinder motor for something far more special. There's no outlandish body kit, no giant wings, nothing aside from a few GTS badges to tell the world just how incredible this machine really is. The GT4 is more aggressive, it's lower, has a fat rear diffuser and an enormous rear wing, so it has the visual theatre to match. Now, don't get me wrong, they have done quite a bit of work to make this look different to the standard car. Inside, they've covered everything in Alcantara, and I mean literally everything. Steering wheel, seats, center console, glove box, ceiling, A-pillar. If you hate Alcantara, you're gonna hate this car. However, outside, that's a different story. I mean, they've slapped on the GTS badge, they've lowered it by 20 millimeters, new wheels. They've also got this black lower section because of the new exhaust. But apart from that, it just looks like a normal 718 to me. You can use it like you'd use a normal Cayman as well. It's vaguely practical, thanks to storage at the front and at the rear, and if you like your bright red sports cars to fly under the radar, and you're after something that you can drive every day, then the GTS is not a bad choice because it fits in almost everywhere it goes. It's comfortable, easy to drive, and when you're not bouncing off the rev limiter, it's even quiet around town. It's even quite economical. The car has cylinder deactivation, which means it can shut down one bank of cylinders and effectively function as a three-cylinder car. Porsche reckons it will return 25 miles per gallon, which is quite sensible, really. But it does beg the question, is it a little bit too sensible? Is it lacking in a little bit of theatre? I mean, look at me. I'm driving around through a sleepy Portuguese village in a shiny carmine red Porsche and literally nobody is batting an eyelid. Is he looking? Nope. She? Nope. Literally no one's looking. And anyone that does look is probably thinking, look at that idiot in the four-cylinder Cayman. It's not. It's a six-cylinder. The Cayman GTS, then, is one of those cars that doesn't overtly announce its intention. But it's not a car that needs to because it's not a car designed for posers. It's a car designed for people in the know, and people who really know their cars will be well aware that the Cayman 718 GTS is phenomenal where it counts, on the open road. This car might not announce itself quite as loudly as a GT4, but I can forgive that, because this car isn't about what's on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. And what's on the inside is brilliant. The problem with the original 718 Cayman was that it was a tiger with the heart of a donkey. A lovely, well-meaning, really strong donkey, but a donkey. This thing, it's a tiger with the heart of a damn tiger. 
the basic Cayman S does 0 to 62 in 4.9 seconds. This thing, 4.5. The basic car will top out at 177. This, 183. Okay, there's not a massive difference, but it's not about the numbers. It's about the drama that comes with it. And there is so much drama. It doesn't rev quite as high as the engine in the GT4. That one goes all the way to 8,000. This only manages 7,800. But believe you me, it feels unbelievable. The throttle response, razor sharp. It spins up so quickly. There's nothing like a naturally aspirated engine for when you want to really grab a car by the scruff of the neck and show it who's boss. Don't get me wrong, this isn't as fancy as the GT4. The suspension is nowhere near as trick. Whereas the GT4 uses exotic, expensive, rose-jointed suspension, the kind of thing you normally find on racing cars, this uses comparatively ordinary Porsche Sport suspension. The aero on the GTS is nowhere near as good as the GT4. It doesn't have that fancy rear diffuser or that massive rear wing that generate up to 100 kilograms on that car. Here, I have a tiny, piddly little rear spoiler that's more about reducing lift than anything else. It also doesn't have the sticky rubber, the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. This is rocking Pirelli P0s, but honestly, it doesn't matter. And then there's the steering. There really aren't many cars that feel as alive, as engaging, and as full of feedback. In so many cars, you're afraid to lean on the front end, but in this, it just fills you with so much confidence, you know exactly when the grip's about to run out. There's a joyous balance to this car, there really is. It's lovely to drive. And then there's the brakes. This car's using carbon ceramics, probably overkill for the road, but they are so strong, so confidence inspiring. Ah, beautiful. It's all too easy to forget just how good the 718 is because the standard cars rode an irresistible wave towards smaller turbocharged engines. But there can be no doubt, no question, that this chassis makes it one of the most lovely sports cars to drive that you'll ever come across. The balance, the steering, the brakes, that recipe was already amazing. And with this new engine, they've just added extra spice. The GTS is a timely reminder, in case any of us needed it, of how much impact an engine can have on a car's character. An engine isn't just a power plant to turn the wheels. An engine is what gives a car its very essence, its soul. The engine in the original 718 Cayman was chosen because of the way it made you feel when you looked at the numbers on paper. The engine in the GTS isn't the best on paper, but it's the perfect engine for a damn near perfect sports car.